Let's look at the integral of the natural log function. This is one that we haven't been able to do up to this point until we learned integration by parts. If you remember, back when we were reviewing basic integrals, I mentioned that this is one that we would learn how to do eventually, and that time has come. So we're going to do this one using integration by parts. And it may look a little strange at first, because if you look at this, we're used to using integration by parts when we have two functions multiplied together. So it may look odd here because it doesn't look like we have two functions multiplied together. We just have the one function, natural log of x. But let's push past that for a second and think about our LIPD acronym. And the very beginning of that scale is the log functions, like natural log of x. So if we were going to use u as anything, it would make sense to let u equal the natural log of x. So what's left for dv? Well, just the dx. But there's no reason we couldn't do that. Nothing's stopping us from letting dv just equal dx. So let's try it that way. If we let u equal the natural log of x, and we let dv equal dx, let's see what happens. We can find du as before by differentiating the natural log function. We do know how to differentiate it. We get 1 over x dx. And then for v, if we integrate dx, it's really like integrating 1 times dx. The integral of 1 or the integral of dx is just x. So nothing's broken yet. Everything seems to be working. Let's follow through on this and see what happens. We have the integral of u times dv equals u times v minus the integral of v times du. So in our case, that would be the integral of the natural log of x dx equals u times v. So that would be natural log of x times x. But I'll write it this way so that it's a little bit clearer. x times the natural log of x minus the integral of v times du. v is x du is 1 over x dx. And look at that. x times 1 over x simplifies nicely to just 1. So we end up with the integral of 1 dx or just dx. That we can integrate. We've already done this. So we have x times the natural log of x minus x plus c. So now we know what the integral of the natural log function is. You can obviously check this by differentiating and make sure that you get the natural log of x back when you differentiate all of this. But now we finally have an answer for the integral of the natural log function. This is one it would be perhaps helpful to memorize, but if you don't want to memorize it, or if you ever forget it, as long as you remember that you use integration by parts to calculate it, you can rederive the formula very quickly and easily in just a few steps.